so good. I don't know. I just had to say that. God is so good. His spirit is so amazing. All the fruit. All the fruit of the spirit that just continues to grow when you're walking with the Lord. And as you're getting closer to him, it's just like, it's unspeakable. Like, it's unexplainable how he makes you feel, right? But anyway, um, y'all, I got to get into this right now, okay? When I expose people, let me tell you something. That is not me. The Lord has me to do it. If I don't do it, he's going to keep repeating it in the spirit realm because he wants something done. He wants something to be said. Um, and he's done this before. Like the way the Lord works with me because I'm the bride of Christ is very different. Like he'll keep repeating the same thing until I make a video about it because there's somebody who needs to hear it. You know, um, it's not all cupcakes, rainbows and gumdrops when you have these spiritual gifts because you like hearing in the spirit i can hear everything whether it be good or bad um and i realized with god that it's like a video game right so once i knock out level one i go to level two then three then four and so on so when i first started walking with god and he told me who my prophetically he told me who my husband was supposed to be and so all I was hearing was him in the spirit at first. Of course, God too, but I wasn't hearing nobody else but him. So I was hearing what he was saying in the spirit, the good, the bad, the ugly. And once I accepted the fact that he was void, and once the Lord confirmed to me that there's better, then I started hearing other things in the spirit. I started hearing demons in the spirit. And when I first started hearing demons in the spirit, it was scary. I'm not going to lie. Like, just, you know, for a heads up. The reason why y'all never hear me say dope, I, I always say lit. Because dope, the Lord said that is not of God. The meaning of dope is drugs. And the world transformed that into something good. As always, backwards. But I don't say dope because of that. But anyway, the point is... um. When I first heard that, I remember I was actually watching Mike Ta at this point. So I was watching that and then I don't remember what it was, but I was like, oh, that's dope. And then I heard in the spirit, in a demonic voice, that's dope. And I was like, oh, no, 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 cut the lights on, stayed up all night. So <laughs> from level to level, okay, he takes me from level to level as I progress. So then after that, I just started hearing... So then it progressed. Um, after it was just hearing my earthly family in the spirit, you know, hearing them set me up and hearing them talk about me in the spirit and then they get in my face and act like they ain't little, they act like they wasn't saying nothing. I mean, buying me stuff and all that. That's how deceptive the devil is. They was buying me gifts. They was, look, you would have never thought. And that's why a little part of me was questioning. I'm like, God, are you sure they doing this? Because the way they acting in my face, keep keying getting me stuff y'all it was all part of the plan but um after i started hearing them and i left came to atlanta then i started hearing the enemies that were around me and then he started giving me dreams about them so after that he started letting me hear the body of christ people in the spirit realm so that i can attack these demons that are coming against the body of christ and really just pour out to the children of god so every time it just gets you know more and more progressive in the spirit if there's people in the spirit saying she doesn't care because the video that i made when i was like i was saying how there's people that are repenting for being lustful over me the bride of christ um and they're like she doesn't care which we come against that in Jesus' name because that makes no sense. Because I said people repented because I'm forgiving. I don't care. No, if I didn't care, I would sit here on camera and pray knowing that that's going to bring even more lustful thinking to lustful men and some women as well. Demons don't discriminate. But, y'all, there's two sides to this two sides so there's the demons that are like she doesn't care she doesn't care that people are lusting and fornicating with themselves 
And then you got the body of Christ that's like, oh, she's used to it at this point. What I'm going to do? Keep getting mad at something that I can't control? No. Like, as you can see in my videos, I grow, right? So, in the beginning, I was mad and I was coming at their necks in Jesus' name, of course. But now it's just like, all right, whatever. Look, there's some people that repented for it and there's some people that don't care. There's some people that come to my videos specifically to be lustful. And there's some people that come to get the word. And then, you know, whatever happens in the spirit realm that they are not prepared for or, you know, covered in their armor, so and so may happen. They rebuke, whatever the case may be, repent whatever i never said i didn't care demon um but yeah the body of christ look, they understand they understand their own you know what i'm saying no it's not that i don't care it's just the fact that i'm i'm a forgiving person okay and i'm not gonna look at you different that's another thing like the lord knows who to choose for every specific thing that he has to accomplish in this earth so he knew that he could trust me with certain things he knew i was gonna hear certain things but not judge them for it so i hear a lot but i don't look at you differently just because the lord tells me something so don't be ashamed or afraid to meet me or talk to me because the lord literally tells me that there's some people that are scared of me and it's like just because i can hear you in the spirit look don't be afraid do not be afraid because it's all love on my end it's all love if anything i'm pray about it all right, I'm not going to look at you different or feel disgusted or whatever the case may be. If you are a child of God and you know that you are, you shouldn't have no fear. You shouldn't even be worried about none of that, okay? Just like Jesus in a word, it said he was in a crowd full of people and he already knew what was on every person's heart. Look, he didn't look at them different before that. He just knew, you know what? I can't do certain things. Um, I can't be around this person too long. So if I'm in my video, I know, look, I'm going to have to pray before I get on here and not on the video because there's certain demons that need to be casted down. There's certain imaginations that have not been cast down yet. So does it mean that I'm not going to ever pray in front of people? No, it does not mean that. But for people that are like, no, you need to pray before you get, or no, not before. For people that are like, you need to pray on video, you need to do this, you need to do that, 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 that. Look, in the word of God, it says, pray to your father in secret because the Pharisees, the Sadducees, they the one shouting in the synagogue like, oh, I have the best prayer and I have all these fancy words and God's going to hear me. And it even says God ain't going to hear them. He ain't going to listen to that. He ain't paying them no mind, no attention. They're doing it to sound fancy. They're doing it to sound holy and righteous. I don't need to get on camera and pray in order to or in order for the word to accomplish what the Lord wants it to. So yeah. Dang, this video was long. I'm going to make this too then. <laughs> but yes, y'all. Have a blessed day, week, month, and a year. I didn't do that real look, cut and dry. But I'm just trying to get these videos out there. So yes, have a blessed night.